Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today, inshallah, we're going to go through al isti'adha and basically, the adha basically means seeking refuge with Allah from the Zayta. You have the Arabic phrase here, which inshallah we're going to go through, and I'll explain in portions how to articulate each letter. The first letter is Hamza al Qata. So it basically comes from the lowest part of your throat, which is Aqsa al Halaq. Aqsa al Halaq is your further part of your throat. So the, the bottom one. And that's where this letter comes from. And we are going to keep it soft and say, eh, eh. The second letter is where we emanate it from the wasat al-khalaq, which is the middle part of your throat. So first one is at the, uh, at the air bottom, aqsa. And then we go to the middle, wasat. For this, I'm going to take the tip of my tongue and catch it between the top and bottom incisors. I'm going to count the ayn for two counts because of this month letter here. We're going to now move on to our second word, which starts with the B. Now, this is obviously Lafsa Jalal, and um, many of you know that we sometimes make it heavy and sometimes light. Those of you who don't know this rule, it depends on the vowel that precedes the lamb or Lafsa Jalala. So whenever you come across the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, um, you will make it light if it proceed if it's preceded by a kasra. But if that lafsu jalala, the lamb in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, preceded by one of these vowels, the dhamma or the fatta, you would make the lamb heavy. So in this case, because it's preceded by a kasra, we're going to keep it light. We can say billahi. We're not going to say Billah, when I say law, we can say la, billahi. Moving on to uh, the uh, third uh, word, we start off with the meme, so we, we're going to say minash, and we're going to join the noon with the she, mushaddad, which basically means that this sign here indicates there are two um, sheens, the two letters. So we're going to say minash. And please remember to make the door heavy and not light. So don't say minashayta. It's minashayta. Minashayta. We do not elongate this. Why? Because it is not the harf madiya, which is preceded by a kasra. This year is preceded by a fatta. Therefore, it is not harf madiya. It is not the elongating year. If you want to learn about the difference between the letters of mud and harflin, please go and watch the video that has already been uploaded on our YouTube channel. And that will go through the, the explanation or the difference between harflin and harf mud or harf madiyas. So once again, uh, I made my raw strong because it has a fatta on it and also it is a mushaddad, so I'm going to pronounce it twice. Now I have my mud letter here, so I'm going to prolong it for two counts. G, G. So once again, Eh, Billahi, Minashay, Tony, Rogim. Inshallah, hopefully, the more you practice, the, uh, the better you will get. In order to understand the articulation point for any of the letters that you're struggling with, please go back to the YouTube channel and look uh, at those videos and check the articulation points for each of those letters that you're struggling with. So if you are struggling with the I, please go back and watch that video 
and similar with the raw to know how to make it heavy. So you have raw, um, the heavy one, the cream and tarqiq. Moving on now to the basmala, we're going to go through the uh, pronunciation or the connect, correct pronunciation of basmala, which is seeking protection. So we start off with the ba and it's got a kasra, so we want to say bis, okay, and you have the, um, the characteristics of the sea. When it has sakin, it is a letter of safi. So we want to say bis, bis, and not overemphasize. So we're not saying bis, we don't emphasize this. So it's a natural a hissing sound, bis, bismillahi. And again, we are not uh, making the lefts on Zulana strong because of the kasra preceding it. So bismillahirrahman, hirrahman. Now the reason why I've stopped here because I want to go through the two types of hair. So you have hair here, which comes from the um, further part of your throat, the lowest part, which is the bottom part, called oxa al halak. Now the further part of the throat, it means that you're going deep um, and down to the lower end of your throat or to the deep, deep, uh, deepest part of your throat. And then you come to the middle, come back to the middle with this hair and say with this hair. So, can you hear the difference? So here I'm making my letter from the middle part of the throat. And again, you have the raw, which is mushaddad. So I'm going to, A is, has a fatta, so I want to make it strong. B, I will pronounce it almost like a double sound because it has two rows in that. We have here letter of mud because it's preceded by a gastro, so we're going to elongate that for two counts. So once again, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Nirrahim. Make sure you don't drop the uh, strength of that raw. So once again, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Nirrahim. Inshallah, we'll do it once more slowly. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Nirrahim, Haim, Bismillahirrahman, Nirrahim, Haim. I want that sound, the air, the hums coming out on the hair letters. Please make sure you don't say Haim, don't say Haim. It is Bismillahirrahman, Nirrahim. I hope you, um, inshallah, will find it easier to now practice your isti'adha and basmullah. Jazakallah for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.